Um, my name is Valerie Ann, and I'm going to be your moderator. <laughs> and just to warn you, I pronounce it, why not? And I know that not all of you do, <laughs> but I figure, why not? So without further ado, the Tessa and Scott of Purgatory, Melanie Scrifano, and Kat Perel. you nudge that Kleenex closer? I, it just didn't, just in case. <laughs> <laughs> Throw it away. Don't tempt fate. <laughs> um, okay, we'll start with a bit of a softball. What was your favorite friendship, Winona Nicole, scene to film? In the morning. In the morning. You go first. Uh, the snow, and like the snow was fun. Just because we kept messing up, we 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 had fun. We had nice chats that day. Yeah, we did. Yeah, like just behind the scenes. So then we were just surrounded by snow, and we were it just felt easy. Mm -hmm. The snow up to the vagina. Was that a line? <laughs> was that a line, or was that just us talking? It was probably just us. Oh, talking. okay. It could have been a lot. <laughs> yeah. Um, I agree. I really. Uh, I also really liked our um, like watching that reminded me. Of like that moment in the bar. I mean, we really didn't cross paths almost at all in the first season. Mm -hmm. So I think that that it was it like some of those early days were really nice because we like we didn't know each other that much in the beginning. Yeah. And then it was and I have fond memories of like those little moments like that started coming in the script where we got to work together and got to connect were really mm -hmm. quite lovely. Yeah. Yeah. Um, when this is sort of a two part question. When did you two notice that Winona and Nicole were starting to become friends? And when do you think that they noticed that they were starting to have their own relationship outside of Waverly? Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. I can break. I can break it down if you need me to. Okay. Like a little. We do um, one. Thank you. Come on. That. That's All lovely. right. You have to hydrate. I have to hydrate. Um. I'm told. <laughs> what? Mm. Okay. I'm gonna go first. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. For me, it was. This is just what's popping into my memory. I reserve the right to think differently at some point. But um, I remember season two when Nicole when Nicole finds out about the situation, mm -hmm. and then um, the way you played like the I'm not gonna tell anyone. Um, that was cool because I was like, I I and Winona were like, oh. I like this relationship, and I feel safe here. And I, I, Melanie was like, "Oh, I believe that you mean that in real life. Like, I believe that you are that person." And it was a very nice moment. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It was a really, it was a really nice moment. Have I told you that? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> the best of moments like this are for. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. That was a good. That's a good. Way of it I feel like I feel like around season two yeah was when they started to have their own separate thing especially towards the end the like hot or I got you or there was very much their own thing outside of Waverly yeah which I yeah it was really fun to like start to explore that with these characters and I think they've always had such a great chemistry because they're so different mm -hmm. and yeah, it was just really, I mean, I think I would agree with you, is that scene in the bar with the Revenant and Wynonna that was opening up to Nicole. The, oh, that's not um, what you were talking about? No. <laughs> oh, you mean, oh, I know what you're, the yeah. scene you're talking the kitchen. about. The kitchen scene. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, where she, where Nicole walks in and you're standing there. Yeah, like, yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. I forgot how it happened, yeah, but yeah, that yeah. time. Yeah, yeah, that one. That was special, too, because also with, it was like, a, like, Tim touched my stomach, like, just, Improv it and the kip baby kicked and then you did that and I was like, what is happening? <laughs> it was all so real. Yeah, yeah, it was a nice. I can't believe you're pregnant. <laughs> and now he's five. He's four. He's five. five. He just turned. Yeah. You're good with dates. 
I was like, so is your baby seven now? She's <laughs> like, he was, he was born like December like 1978, right? <laughs> yeah. Like I'm so bad with time. No, you're really not though. You okay. You need to give yourself a lot more credit. Okay. Sure. You're really not. Thanks. Melanie has been one of the most attentive, caring, involved friends in my journey of motherhood of any any of my friends. I like literally have called her in tears with my like infant two day old son being like, I can't breastfeed, what am I gonna do? Um, that means you're doing it right. Right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're crying and um, scared. But uh, yeah, I mean, I don't need to like publicly share all of that like intimate stuff, but you're an incredible girl, an incredible friend. Thank you. Never been so grateful for you other than this year. <laughs> It's just as secretly I want to steal your baby. So. <laughs> You're gonna steal I'm like a weaseling my way in. Yeah. How's your vagina? And then I'm like, yoink! <laughs> <laughs> That's, by the way, the first thing Charlotte, after I had a baby, she's like, how's your vagina? <laughs> really? And I was like, it's not <laughs> great. It's <laughs> not great. It sucks. <laughs> yeah. Have you found that motherhood has changed your friendships, like, overall, like, both of you, like, what to each other or to just the way that you make new friends and, like, friends that you had already? Yeah. Okay, so tell, let's talk about this. <laughs> uh, I mean, huge for me. Huge. huge. Yes, of course, because you have a different understanding of what other people, I have I've had a, I've said this to you privately, like, several times, I have a profound respect for what Melanie went through in season two that has like that I could never fully have understood until I also experienced a similar experience with just just with having a child and yeah it changes and it changes the way people show up for you yes. and it's like there's no pressure either way like if you're really present or not but it's like having that touchstone is massive well because I think it's something that means so much to you mm -hmm. so that then you're like like anybody, I could hate someone, but the, if they're good with my kid, I'm good. Yeah. I love you. Yeah. You could be like the worst person. And I'm like, oh, you're good with my kid. It's all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but like somebody who I otherwise was kind of friendly with, if they like are dismissive of their life yeah. <laughs> and of their presence in my life, I'm like, I, I get it because I've had, I've, I've been a non-parent before. I get it. But it's just like, oh, we just don't have, we don't have, uh, this matters more now. You'll say priorities, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, uh, yeah. It's because I'm drinking water and yeah, it doesn't work. Coffee. <laughs> it doesn't work the same way. It's like, you need coffee. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> What did your friendships look like growing up? Like, did you have a big group of friends? Or were you, Ooh. or like, was it more like hanging out with boys or girls? Or, like, man, we're going there. We're going yeah. You don't, you, you, we don't have to go back to vagina snow if you want, but. <laughs> <laughs> I always had a lot of acquaintances and very few good friends. Because I dabbled in like a lot of different things, I was really into sports, but then I would go and do the plays. And so I, I had a lot of friends in like a lot of different things, but I really only like my friend Bridget and I joke that like it was really just the two of us. We but what grade was that? We met her in grade six and then we went through high school together. And then we kind of like lost touch in our twenties and then came back together, which is really nice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, I never, I always had, I was always very intimidated by large groups. I never had, um, I really didn't go to parties that much. Like, I was just very, because I was an only child, I didn't hang out with a lot of people my age. I always found them very intimidating. Like, I didn't know how to be. Put me in a room of adults, I'm like, I'll rock it. <laughs> but put me in a, a group of, like, teenagers, and I was like, oh, fuck. Like, I, I just, I was so nervous. And if I didn't have the structure of an activity, I felt like I didn't know how to be. And so I sort of just kept to, like, a couple people I felt safe with. I know. It sucks. <laughs> so she's okay now. But now I'm great. It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was my experience, which is not a bad thing. I don't 
think. Like, it was not bad. It was just, um, what it was. Yeah, a little solo. But that's okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what about you? Yeah, I didn't have, yeah, I was very, like, a quiet child. I was very, because my parents were getting divorced and it was, like, a mess. So I was just all, I, Bigger, bigger fish to fry. Like, I was, like, uh, very quiet. So I didn't have friends except for, like, one person who lived across the street sort of thing. Mm-hmm. And then I got bullied at school and stuff. And so it was just, like, very, also very solo Yeah, for different reasons. But um, do you find that it fed your imagination more? I find that it fed my resilience because... Because I got so much rejection when I was so young, I am less scared of it now. Mm-hmm. In a weird mm-hmm. way, so like mm-hmm. acting, you're like you're getting rejected all the time. Mm-hmm. But I was like, oh, pff, I've been to high school. I'm good. <laughs> like <laughs> my butt's too what? Okay. Um, oh, <laughs> nice, nice. Well played. Um, so yeah. So, again, it's like, it is what it is, and made us who we are. As adults now, what do you look for in a friendship? Like, what kind of qualities do you look for in someone mm-hmm. you I know want to exactly. keep around? Okay, Because this year has been so mm-hmm. fucking show up. Mm-hmm. Like, <sighs> yeah. I have so little tolerance for, like, talk. I'm, I'm, I'm very very much an action person like I don't want to hear your waxing poetic I don't want to hear like I just want someone to fucking show up when I'm in the shit or when things are great and like the people who drove out to see my kid and who made that effort like that was the dividing factor for me that I was like yeah the people who showed up and I'm just it's like I need to that's my thing is like falling through on what you say you're gonna do hands down Noted. <laughs> but you did it. You've been to my house like four times since Ronald was Again, born. I want to steal your child. Right. <laughs> but I'm great because I love kids. <laughs> don't know if you could tell. <laughs> but um, I don't know if I, I I'm pretty, I'm pretty flaky. That's not true. Though. That is. That's that is not what's no, yeah. with you. I'm sorry. I don't take that. <laughs> no. I can be. You can be. Well, I, uh, you haven't, for me, that's very much it. I yeah, just I really appreciate it. Or it's like, if you can't physically be there, it's like the check-in or the, yeah. like, just just show up. I don't care about anything else. I think I'm the same. I think it's like, uh, well, I think for me, it's just kind of, but it's probably similar, like, just, just see, how, see how I'm doing. Like, check in. And, like, maybe, I don't know, this one's a tall ask, but, like, maybe don't get scared off if I'm doing not great. You know what I mean? Because yeah. I just think, like, that's a hard one, though, I understand. But, like, sometimes I, I'm just not i am not interested in lying about how I'm doing. Like, somebody asked me backstage, just like, how are you? And I'm like, meh. And then <laughs> somebody was like, uh? I'm like, well, I'm it. Like, that's yeah. what it is. I don't want to pretend. Um and so, like, can you be okay with my eh is um, a good friendship barometer. Yeah, I mm. mm-hmm. yeah. But not, But not to say that if you can't be, you're a bad person. Like, it's just, I understand that, like, so everybody has their own things going on. So maybe you're not there and you, you can't be. And that's, that's also okay. But, like, the people that I will surround myself with are the people who I feel like I can be, like, I'm not okay. Yeah. And like there are tears like, of friendship. Some, okay. some tears of friendship aren't ready for that. Yes. Some yes. Are. Yeah. For sure. Which Winona character do you think your adult self would be friends with? Like, get along the most with? Like, your real self? Winona character. Yeah. <laughs> do, 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 do. I think Winona. Really. For me. I, I, and this is not a... You don't have to say no. I'm not going to say no. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. No, it's fine. Um, I think Winona for me because Winona is, uh, like, I also find for people, like, I really like people who wear their heart on their sleeves because I'm not very good at, like, 
you say one thing, but you mean something else. But the, like that game, I just, I'm like, I have no patience for this. I can't play it. Like, I'm a very, like, what you see is what you get. And I really like that in a friend. And I think that's what I would really gravitate to in Winona. Because, like, yeah, she's neurotic. And, yeah, she's, like, scattered. But she's very hard on sleep. <laughs> it's true. It's not you. It's Winona. <laughs> well, well. <laughs> but she's very hard on sleeve. Like, like she'll, she's not going to, she's going to tell you if you ask her. She's mm. not going to play around and play games and all this stuff. And uh, I think I would gravitate towards that, probably. I don't, I feel like maybe, um, uh, uh, Jeremy. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. Yeah. He's so yeah. fun. Like, yeah. he, he's so, he's, he gets so excited about things and he really, like, goes down the rabbit hole and I love to go down a rabbit hole and, and like, I think we would just be a little nerdy together. I like that. Yeah. yeah. What are your favorite? And he's bad at yoga. Oh, <laughs> so now I am bad at yoga. Yeah. Can't have a friend try to make you do yoga. No. <laughs> uh, what are your favorite friendship pairings on the show that are not Winona and Nicole? It doesn't even have to include one of your characters, just some other friendship or moments or. I love Jeremy and Waverly together. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think it's a so really cute. special, cute dynamic. Um, it's fun to see them nerd out and get excited yeah. and egg and each other nerd on. each other. Yes. And, yeah. like, compete about, how, yeah, yeah. I would say that's my favorite. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Should we think of another one just to, just to throw it out? <laughs> well, Bobo and Doc. <laughs> <laughs> but think about it. Like, like, they had a weird, and then... Then they sort of like Doc went dark for a bit, and I don't know. I think they had a they had a very interesting understanding and mutual respect on some level for each other that I found very fascinating. We can steal characters. these pens. <laughs> I don't know. How would they know? Yeah, that's a good reference. Um, sorry. No, it's fine. My answer was boring. <laughs> I just was like, I knew you were kind of. Like, yeah, were you end saving me? A little, thanks. But also, no, because I actually was like, should we? Um, because, no. no, no, you're right. There's a whole thing going on. Um, but also, uh, Nicole and, uh, Natalie, come on. Yeah, that's a good one, too. Yeah. Yeah, that's a great that's one. That's a great one, too. Oh, listen. Uh, I have problems. <laughs> First babies, now pens, is what they say. <laughs> what are some of your favorite fictional best friendships or TV shows or movies about friendships? Do you need an example to get you started? I don't watch anything. Okay, okay. It can be from whenever. It doesn't have to be your, like, current. <laughs> The first thing that's coming to my head is Queer Eye. That's I love a good Queer example. Eye. It's the like, original or the new one? I love the new one. I I um, it's like my thing that I watch when I just need to like feel really happy and feel like there is goodness in the world. And yeah. I always really admire the dynamic between all of them. Like I really think there's a beautiful. I don't know. I mean, listen, it's a TV show. I'm sure a lot of it's fabricated. I'm sure they have their stuff behind the scenes. But I feel. Like, I get a vibe of genuineness, and that's, like, a lot of people and big personalities to have a good vibe with. And, I, I like, that's the show that I watch to make me feel like there's, like I just said, there's goodness. And so I feel like their dynamic with each other, with, with all of them, greatly contributes to that. And I really enjoy watching that dynamic. It makes me happy. Um, okay. Well, <laughs> have, you, have you heard of Masha and the Bear? Okay. Um, it's like this little girl and a bear. It's kind of, why not? It's like, <laughs> she's Winona and the bear is like, get it together. <laughs> and, and it's a kid's show. It's adorable. Um, and, uh, and, and she's just like, what about this? And then he's like, and he doesn't talk. So it's the best because <laughs> he can't like do anything, but he's like, Ugh! um, anyway. It's good friendship. That. I love that. But he's got her back. He's got her back. Yeah. If Winona and Nicole could meet any other character you've ever played, what would you want? Which character would you want them to meet? 
<laughs> together? Like, like to go on a, 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 a threesome friendship date? <laughs> I was thinking more like, if, like, who... Who else have you played that Nicole would get along with? Or, I, I or that you think would be a very funny thing to watch? Maybe not get along with. Maybe that's better. I mean, if you want a threesome friendship date, I'm not going to stop you. <laughs> um, well, I was going to say Alicia from Working Moms. Because <laughs> they would just be, they'd both hate her. And it would be so funny. Oh, why don't is there? I was going through some friendship date. <laughs> oh boy! I don't know how the three of those would, those people would get in a room, but yeah. Okay. Uh, um, okay. Um, okay. I'm gonna go like okay. So I did a short like this kind of. I'm, do, I'm going short film. Yeah. And uh, my friend made this movie, and he's like, "Do you want to play a like possessed?" You know, I think it'd be funny if we with. Why, why not had to, like, um, deal with, I don't even know her name, Zod? <laughs> she was Zod. Um, she called herself Zod, and she was just really a funny, possessed girl, little girl. Can we watch this somewhere? I don't know. It's called Yeah, Right. But it's, like, it's, like, right, like, the rights of Catholicism. <laughs> really? <laughs> There's a lot of Catholic humor. This guy's really funny, this guy. Wow. Really, yeah. Um, but none of us can ever experience it. I don't know. Does it live somewhere? I don't know. Can you message him to ask? It's on YouTube. It's on YouTube? <laughs> Great. All right. I know what I'm doing on my lunch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. And my tongue in that movie is, like, brown because I was drinking coffee. And so it actually kind of works. Cool. Yeah. Was it a choice? Or was nope. it a survival tactic? It was just, hey, there's coffee. Oh, okay. <laughs> but they painted my teeth brown, so it kind of worked. Oh, no, wow. Like, I know. <laughs> Art. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an artist. <laughs> Things you do for art? Yeah. Um, what sort of... Uh, oh, sorry. That question about was from Kate on, on Twitter, by the way. Sorry, forgot to mention that. And then this question is from Atlas. And what sort of fun, laid-back activities do you see Nicole and Winona doing together? Once they're done, they have a break from saving the world for a second. How would they feel about that Golden Girls puzzle in the back room? Are they doing that? I'm doing that. Are they You're doing, doing it. Yeah. Um, I don't know if Nicole is a puzzle person. Stop. Are you serious? I don't know. I feel like... Come on, she's she, putting them in the pile. She does like the order of the it. Corners. But I, think, I don't know. I and think she would find it trivial. Of course it's trivial. It's the Golden Girls puzzle. No, not but it's the casual. The okay, what are they doing? The act of puzzling. I know. And she would be like, nah, I'm, I'm going to go, you know, build something or fix something that needs fixing because I've got a laundry list of things that I really of need course. to be doing. What was the question? Yeah. <laughs> what kind of things would Nicole and Winona do together as like friends? Like if they had time to hang out? You changed it. No. no. What fun and laid back activities laid back. do you use? That's the word oh, I'm sorry. looking for. Oh, sorry. So sorry. <laughs> sorry. Specific. Because <laughs> I was like, okay. No, laid back. We're not building. Oh, that's true. <laughs> that's true. Laid back. I still don't think it would be a puzzle. What about... Would Nick, would they ever do anything like, okay, what is Winona like doing in the outdoors? <laughs> episode five, episode five, season one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Are there any other activities that I was doing in the outdoors? Target practice. Okay, that could be fun. Yes. Laid back ish. I, or like maybe they'd go. I think they'd have really fun at like a monster truck rally or something. Nope. Yes. Come on. Okay. Yeah. Why no? No. Why no? No. Why no? No. Yeah. I think Nicole would find that fun. Okay. Here's the thing. I think that was Winona's previous life, and I think she dated everybody there. Okay. 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 Fair. <laughs> and I think she's out. This is this is Winona and Nicole trying to decide what to do on Saturday <laughs> after. This is it right now. This is the scene. Um, I want to get Travel? a good answer. No. Travel? Yeah. No. 
can't leave. Maybe, uh. <laughs> yeah, I know, it's getting hard. <laughs> uh, we would, we would, we do. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. Yep. yep. That's it. There it is. No. I'm like boobs. <laughs> what would I? Can you repeat it into the mic so they can hear? Uh, matching tattoos. Sorry. Yep. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> matching tattoos. What would you do on? Well, I don't think we're doing each other's tattoos. <laughs> no. Oh. Okay. I know. I know. I still know what Nicole's tattoo would be if if she got one. Oh my god, this this is gonna be it. Because I because I've answered the question before, I've had to think about it. Yeah. Do you want to hear? I <laughs> no. I don't know if I do. I don't know if I'm ready. It's not that fancy. It's like a very predictable sleeve. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> it's a forest uh, on this arm, but it's like uh, trees coming up from the bottom. Okay. Evergreens, and then from the top, it's the sun setting down into the. Like a cool color blend. Okay. Right? It's kind of fun. That's what I would go get. So we're we're I think you need to talk about pens again, please. Wait, I <laughs> thought it's pen. Um want me to give you a tattoo right now. Um I, but here's the thing, they have to be matching tattoos, they said. They said matching. I mean that's Oh, I said. Would magic? you turn that into that's Nona? Why Nona? Nah, no, that's boobs. That's <laughs> not, only. It's not a W. No. no, but but I forget where we were. But my son was there, Philly, and I did the classic boobs on the plexiglass, and he's like, "What's that?" And I'm like, "It's a W." <laughs> <laughs> a W. And he's like, "Oh, why Nona? Nice." And then, and then he <laughs> just <laughs> just glazed right over it. Yeah. I'm like, I'm really surprised you weren't just like the spoofs. I I would surprise. Yeah, yeah. It's like his. Yeah, it's because I think, like, we have so much swearing stuff in the house that I think he rebels by being like mother. Ah. <laughs> and did did you say bitch? And I'm like. And he's like, can't say that. <laughs> <laughs> like, but I think that's his rebellion that's his thing. Yeah, that's yeah. a good rebellion. That's right. like, well, really, way to a good way to reverse engineer. Did I tell you? Okay, I'm telling you. So Tony, my agent, was like, "Come on, just say fuck." Like to my son, who's nice. And Tony, <laughs> come on, just say fuck, say shit. And he was like, "I'm not, I'm not, I'm not." He would not say it. Wow. And he shook her down. Five bucks each time. <laughs> and he took oh. her money, and I was like... Yeah, he's just really smart. Yeah, he's like, five bucks. And then he gave it all to homeless people. I yeah. remember you telling me about that. Yeah, yeah. I was the, the proudest. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> That's very sweet. Yeah. Um, what would your... What would you want to do with friends? If you could, like, have pick a perfect night with friends, like, what would your ideal activity be? Okay. You got it? I got mine too. You go, go first. No, no, you go first. Okay, on three. Okay. <laughs> One, two. Oh, I, I'm saying, count us down. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three. You Hire videos. a pirate chef and then have a dinner made for us. <laughs> <laughs> what was yours, YouTube? You wanted to make a YouTube video? <laughs> I wanted to watch YouTube videos. I'll watch YouTube. Those are two very. We could do those both at the same time. Hang on. So what are we watching? <laughs> we're we're watching. Uh, while we're cooking. I don't want to cook. That's all, I don't know. <laughs> well, there's be a private chef, so it would be like oh. a like an interactive fun thing where they're like teaching us how to make something. We but can't we don't make. know this person. Well, we would know them from before. They'd be like a cool guest, really interesting, full of tattoos. You know, chefs have like an avocado and a knife 
Yeah, yeah. and cocaine. Like we don't we don't wanna just invite <laughs> coked up chefs. I don't that wasn't part of my Oh okay. Uh, we're different, but <laughs> we love each other. Yeah. You're a doer. I'm a sitter. Great. You said I'll do it. It's yeah. perfect. You cook. I watch YouTube. Okay. And it goes, smells good. Yeah. <laughs> You'll be like, what's happening on the YouTube? You'll be like, Bobby. What do you watch on YouTube? Oh, there's this DIY. Is I don't do any of it. Again, not a doer. But I watch this person make like the most amazing. You'll die. You'll die. You'll love You're, it. That's not true. You are a doer. I That's am when I true. feel like it, yeah. but most of the time, I, I play literally went to your crash. house. Do okay. you remember this light? I know it's not there anymore. She had a Sputnik light over her dining table, and it had like it was like a burst, like one of those star bursts. And on the end of every one, there was like a little disc. You guys know the lights I'm talking about, right? They kind of look like those things that you blow in the um, dandelion. <laughs> yeah, like a. Blow. <laughs> And she was like, oh, yeah, I made that. Okay. That's a doer. You made it. I didn't invent it. I found a YouTube thing or a thing, and then I was like, that's cute, and then I threw it out because it just gathered dust and you can't clean it. It's so not practical. So that's why I don't do things. All right. So what would you not do but watch on YouTube? The thing with the do-it-yourself, but I wouldn't do it. You wouldn't do it? I also came to your house one time we made terrariums. <laughs> because you were like, let's make terrariums. <laughs> that one was me. Yeah, that was me. <laughs> For Christmas. And my father-in-law still has it. He loves it. Really? That's cute. Yeah. 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 Where's yours? Uh, it's in my Christmas box. Stop it. It doesn't always come out, but it didn't come out last year. Maybe this year. It'll make a resurgence. No, it can't because small pieces. <gasps> right. <laughs> Okay, last question. Okay. <laughs> Mark Alex, the whole time, this is your expression. No, <laughs> Every <laughs> when do I ask a question? Just, I'm just going to let you guys go. I'll wait. Um, do you have any advice for people who are looking to make new friends and like have a kind of hard time putting themselves out there or like how to be themselves when they're talking to new people to make good friends? Oh, gosh, do you? I mean, it's not... It's not easy advice, but my advice is the hardest, but it's, you know, like what I was saying earlier about, like, I'm not okay. Um, just find the people that are okay with you not being okay. Or I'm, like, I'm awkward. Some people don't uh, respond well to that, and that's fine, so they're not my friends. <laughs> um, you know, because I can't be myself around them. And so I think my advice is just, like, Risk, which again is easier if you got bullied and you're <laughs> you're like I don't care what you think anymore. But um, but um, yeah, risk being vulnerable enough to be yourself, and and having people not be okay with it, and then doing it again, and find until you find the people who are okay with it. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. That's great advice. Yeah. yeah. Because it's so easy to shut down, like, and be like, oh, I, I put myself out there, which I think happens to all of us. You put yourself out there, and then you get burned, and then you're like, well, <laughs> the shell is going on, and it's like, um, you, and you can do that, and that's what you need to do, then do it. Um, but when you're ready, take the shell off and risk, risk getting, the, the, the reward is great. The risk is also great, but the reward is great. Yeah. Also good for finances. <laughs> anyway. Oh, like investing? Is yeah. that your investing advice? I don't know. My dad says to me. No, that's... I have nothing to add. That's great. I had the perfect answer. <laughs> you win. It's also easy to say when you have friends like it, but but it is a hard. It's hard. It's hard. It's hard making friends, friends as hard. an adult when yeah. you don't have the structure of like activities. <laughs> I feel like well, also, also because <laughs> yes, I just heard myself say that I was like 
and that is why high school was the way it was for you. Um, but, yes, but it is. Don't you find? Yes. As an adult, it's hard to make friends. You make I think friends that's better. why things like this are so great. Like yeah. Maybe my add-on, if I had to pick one, would be like seek out the things where you have things in common with people and then you've already broken the ice. This is an awesome way to make friends. Yeah. Like really top shelf awesome. Yeah. Do you think as actors it's like hard because they're you're being pitted against each other so much, so it's harder to make friends on on sets, or do you find that the sets that you join you kind of find a way to make friends? I feel really, really lucky in the shows that I've been a part of for a significant enough amount of time. Like, and it's also ironic because it was like a lot of the same people. <laughs> so um, I would. Say Say it sh the answer maybe would be yes for some people, but I luckily haven't had too bad of an experience with that. I also think maybe it was more at the beginning. Yeah. We were like jockeying for position, but now that we've all carved our own lane, like now that I don't want to speak for you, but I find now I'm in like an older demographic of actors. People are secure enough in yeah. themselves and have had enough work that it doesn't happen as much perhaps. But I don't know. What about you? That's no, my experience. That, I'm very lucky. Yeah. Um, I feel that. I yeah. feel the... For me, the part that's hard is like you make a lot of friends that you then kind of you move on to the next project. Yeah, it's the like goodbyes. It's the goodbyes, but also like I don't know. I always feel like did that mean nothing to you? Like we were actual friends, but I do it too. Like you get busy, you can't be friends with absolutely everyone you've ever <laughs> worked with. Like you can't. Mm -hmm. um, there are certain people that you're. Keep and you're just like for dear life. No, you're mine. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys see that? <laughs> it's a good thing I put on this tank top this morning. This I it. just revealed my breast. <laughs> <laughs> Inadvertently went to grab your hand and popped out a boob. That's not friendship. I don't know what is. <laughs> wow. I'm awake now. <laughs> <laughs> I almost did put this on this morning, guys. This tank top. Hello. <laughs> if anybody was worried, nothing new would be talked about. <laughs> Cat always brings something spicy. Something spicy. Mm. But no, it's just like yeah. you find certain people, and you're like, like Charlotte. We worked with for, it, for I worked with forever ago, and I was like, I'm not letting her leave my life, mm. my orbit. Yeah, I'm just not letting it happen. Certain thing, but I find that's the hardest thing because. Mm. Um, yeah, because you become so close, um, and then you're like, this is forever, right? And then it's not, and you're like, wow, uh, that's, that's the hard part for me. Mm -hmm. I struggle with that, too, the yeah. endings, the constant endings. Yeah. Because you get so close so quickly, yeah. and then it's like, oh, okay. Does it feel like a, <laughs> not to get, ther like, a therapy session, does it feel like a sense of abandonment in a weird way? Maybe it used to, but it doesn't anymore, oh, because good. now I, I, I expect it. Oh. Like, I, I just know. Yeah, I just you know, know what that, it is. Yeah, what it's gonna be. Yeah, I still think it's yeah. I still feel like oh, abandoned, which yeah. is not fun. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but that's why I'm like, <laughs> but, don't go. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, thank you both for being so vulnerable with us about friendship, and that's gonna be the end of our meeting. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thank you. That was really fun.